<laughs> we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and it's now time to talk about something exciting. Before the arrival of hip hop, Afrobeats, which has presently taken over the whole country, I Life was widely celebrated throughout Nigeria from the early 1950s until the late 1990s. The genre was a very popular style of music in Nigeria and then. Even though Nigerian music has undergone some serious evolution over the years, there are some iLife musicians that will always hold a special place in our hearts. These kings of iLife gave us great songs, and yesterday we even celebrated the posthumous birthday of the legendary singer Sam Victor Uwaipo, which left us reminiscing on good old days. So on today's show, we have decided to bring that sense of nostalgia to you, as we will be talking about five legendary iLife musicians. This is Daily Top 5. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. Hey. Number one, like you expect, Victor Uwaifo. Sir Victor Uwaifo is one of uh, the musicians who popularized I Live music in Nigeria. However, he worked with Steven Osadebe and Fred Coca before he formed his band Melody Maestros in 1965. He made history when he won the first golden record in Africa in 1996 for his song Jeremy, which was a massive hit in Nigeria and other parts of the country. His popular songs include Guitar Boy, Mami Water, to mention a few. Yes, yeah, oh. Jeremy. As we talk, of, as we talk of this I life, so what's the drink for wine? I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I mean, you you ah. totally have me if you play genres, different genres of uh, mm -hmm. songs like this. Mm -hmm. I love to listen to different. Oh my gosh, perhaps. I will blame it on working on radio because you listen to yeah, wide, songs, you know, yeah. uh, varieties, you know, of um, songs. And um, this one, I mean, shout out to uh, the late, <laughs> the late legendary, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, Victor Waifu right there. And I remember when Simi did a uh, Jerome, oh, yeah. and you know, it was it was not having it. <laughs> and they started looking at, oh, but this Jeremy is different from this Jeremy. But I can't think I'm like, this, let me just think about Jeremy. It's not like all those Oti Law, so Abi, like all those slangs now, you so know? Like, when you hear Jeremy, you think of him. Yes, yes. So the first time I, I heard that song or saw the title of the song, I, I was like, there's one Jeremy already. Yeah, but so, they will say, oh, the song is not the same, the but same, then the title. Yeah. But then again, you know. Jeremy, Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy, Cho. Okay. Uh, but you say Jeremy, but Jeremy is not. It's somebody's name. <laughs> Abi, oh, I think the person that In I know is Jolomi. No, Jeremy, no. I so I don't know. Like, would you ever just think of Jeremy from like if you did not hear Jeremy, no. like? It's a Victor Wife. No. I, I don't know. Jeremy. <laughs> All right, now let's just move on already. Osita Osadebe. Chief Osadebe, as it was popularly called due to his high title chief in Igbo land, was a singer-songwriter and record producer who was also known as the father of Igbo high life music. Mm. His music was influenced by his personal life experience, trials and tribulations. Osadebe released the first album of his career in 1958 and later established his record label named Polygram Records Nigeria. He went on to write over 500 songs half of these songs were released commercially. His popular hits include Osondi Owendi, One Name Ebezina, Kedu America, Onuigo, and others. <laughs> Legendary stuff right there. Yes, yes. I love it. <laughs> this is one song that never goes out mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. here. And there was a remix yes. with uh, MC, MC Love. Love. The late yeah. MC Love. The, too, yeah. late MC Love. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you know, it brought it back like in a new style. Yes. It back again. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I like it when you know you have um, you know TV stations or radio stations just mm -hmm. do stuff and then they play it like back to back. You're talking about you know maybe remixes yeah. of songs and all mm -hmm. that. Like I love it. Mm -hmm. Love, 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 love. All right, we're talking about legendary I like musicians. Number three on our list, we have Victor Elia. This legendary musician was regarded as one of the pioneers of I like music in Nigeria as some people described him as the evil genius of iLife. He formed his own band called The Cool Cats in 1954 and renamed the group to All Stars Band in 1963, which was had and trained some popular music icons like the drummer Tony Allen and, of course, vocalist Fela Kuti mm. in his group. His band was chosen to play at the State Ball when Queen Elizabeth II visited Nigeria in 1956, also at the State Ball when Nigeria became independent in 1960, and when Nigeria became a republic in 1963. Some of his popular songs include Baby Joe, Baby Mida. 
Ah. Or Dali. Baby me, Dali. Yeah. I live reincarnation <laughs> amongst many others. I apologize. <laughs> I'll do the tenth of the song. You are not going to put me in trouble. Oh, so yeah. actually, I actually love this song. <laughs> and then I love the fact that uh, they made the new generation yeah. to love the song. Yes, more. by, uh, you know. Many features to Baba. Yes, yes. featuring to Baba. I particularly ah. love it because... And I liked that video. Yes. The, new, yes. the new one. Yes, the new uh, 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 one. <laughs> not this one. Ah. <laughs> the one that has to Baba. she's Phoenix. She's, <laughs> 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 I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, I, and I'm very, very happy that at least, I don't know whether they gave Victor Olaya all his flowers, mm -hmm. but I'm sure that, you know, he got some mm -hmm. of his flowers, exactly. if not all, mm -hmm. before he passed. Yeah. I mean, these are legends. Sure These are are. Victor Olaya. Hello. Mm -hmm. so they play all this song. It's supposed to <laughs> chop some kind of peppered snail for more, like they drink for wine. Oh, you know, yeah, they make person they drop love. something on top. Yeah. Yeah. No spray. Yeah. Yeah. They drop it. They come and drink. They come and drink. They come and drink. They come and drink. I thought you said do-do before. Ah. Not you, not you. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about Oliver the Cock. Mm. Yes, yeah, some people refer to him as the highlight king of Africa. Oliver the Cook is one of the most famous Nigerian Igbo highlight singers, songwriters, musicians, and guitarists. Mm. He formed his band called Ogene Sound Super of Africa, which blended modern high life and traditional Igbo music during his career, which spanned several decades. He recorded 93 albums. He received international attention after performing in London in 1973, and his guitar work was featured in Prince Nikom Baga's 1977 album, Sweet Mother. Mm. Some of his popular songs are People's Club, Identity, Tolerance, No More War, and others. It's like swag. traditional, of I mean, it's swag, man, because, I mean, and then listening to this type of high life, we have been talking about high life since mm -hmm. we started the little five and you can see that it's actually di different yes. it's not like these days that people will just follow one way like that well, you, you could, you could hear thoughts. so you could hear the instrument mm -hmm. you could hear you could every sound like omo it was very very clear and love. these people have inspired a lot mm -hmm. of new mm -hmm. um, new school artists who are doing high life we even had the uh, cavemen who yeah, said yeah. that's one of right. their major influences yeah. that's right they said it they said they say all the time that Oliver the Cook is one mm -hmm. of their major influences. Mm -hmm. And even I life these days, you can see sometimes you see the similarities yeah. and the differences, and it is it's just even, top it's, notch. It's even wild when you hear the number of albums that these guys recorded. Yeah, that's right. Like, and we got one track. Can be like two hours. Are you joking? Yes. Then you know, yes, somebody recorded ninety something albums. No. Like ha. you will sleep in the car hmm. if you are driving from here to, to the east. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you're now, not you're not no, 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 I'm telling you. It's no, like traffic day, so you go enter traffic. I, I am telling you, the one that the one that even gives me this this type of um you know uh experience, the one that I've had the experience is Fela. Fela uh, instrument in room before he starts to talk. So you know that you create a segment, not that Mama. you just say, Oh, up next is you are joking. Because what? <laughs> Do you know when you hear his voice? <laughs> Legendary stuff right there. Wrapping up our daily top five, Bright Chima is here. We're talking about legendary island musicians. Bright Chima is here is another big name. It's considered as the founder of the new style of Nigerian uh, music called Zigima Sound, which is a mix of Igbo, I Live, traditional Nigerian music, and chanted vocals. The lyrics of his songs were focused on social issues affecting Nigeria. He's also when well known for his dance, which makes some people refer to him as the Duke of African Music. He has popular songs like Ube Wane, Because of English, African Style, to mention a few.